up. Now, Cheddar's got cheese, Porter's Head has got a pop group. Now, Clevedon could become internationally famous for its own superhero. A local cartoonist has designed a character called Captain Clevedon, and he could soon be in a comic shop near you. John Kay has been to the region's own Gotham City. A town in chaos, rocked by sleaze, scandal and lawlessness. In the shadows, citizens talk of their fears and of their need for a superhero. This is Captain Clevedon, the creation of local cartoonist Kev F. He's big, he's brave and he's battling through the night to save the town he loves. If there had been a superhero story set in my town, because most of them obviously were set in New York or Metropolis, but if there had been one set in my town, I would have believed it. I, I would have gone out looking for all the places where the stories were set. The story begins when a 16-year-old boy falls off Clevedon Pier into the mud. Unbeknownst to him, that mud contains special mystical properties and he becomes Captain Clevedon. Now, when Superman gets changed into his superhero's outfit, he uses a telephone box, but no such luxury for Captain Clevedon. He has to make do with this, an alleyway right in the centre of town. And this is what he's fighting for, Clevedon Clock Tower. The evil beast of the Seven wants to get his hands on it, but our superhero says, no way. At East Clevedon Primary School, they're getting stuck into the first edition. But are they won over by the storyline? Do you think he really exists? Um, no. Why not? Because... Because he can't just fall in the mud and turn out really muscly like that. The second Captain Clevedon comic will be out very soon. But in the meantime, Kev's working on a Bristol superhero. He'll be called BS1 and lives in the sewers. John Kay, BBC News West, Clevedon. Wonderful stuff. Now on to football, and maybe they could do with a superhero or two down at Ashton Gate.